talk just a little bit about combat sidearms for our U.S. military. Now, with the introduction of the uh, Beretta M9A3, there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of talk out there on the interwebs that, hey, maybe a new gun might go into service for the military. Um, now, this is pure speculation. The military has been teasing going into some new military trials for 20 years now, and so far it's never happened. And who knows, we may be stuck with the M9 for the next 20 years. There, there's no telling. But I wanted to kind of have a little discussion, kind of throw my two cents in on some pistols that might be good choices, and ultimately what I think would be the best choice uh, if we were to replace the M9. Um, now, first off, 1911 fans, I love you, and I love the 1911 too, but let's be honest. The 1911 is never going to replace the M9 and go back into service. At this point, capacity is too much of an issue for the military. They know they can get higher capacity firearms, even in 45 ACP. They're not going to go back to that older design uh, just because they like it. Now, yes, uh, some aspects of the military are going to use it, but it's never going to go back into full service and replace the Beretta. I'm sorry, it's just not. It's not going to happen, so let's take that one off the table. Um, next up, and I think the one that people talk the most about, obviously, is going to be the Glock. Whether you're talking 9mm Glock 17 or, uh, you know, 45 caliber uh, Glock 21, this is a great choice. Either of these would be a great choice. Both have good capacity. They both would work. The, uh, you know, the, the Glock 21, give them some more stopping power. The Glock 17 would be a great just swap out replacement, use the same caliber that they're already using. Either one would be a great choice. Problem is they're striker fired and they don't have a manual safety. Two things that as of right now, at least the military likes when it comes to their combat sidearms. It's one of the reasons why they went with the Beretta M9. Uh, so at this particular point in time, I do not see the Glock kind of uh, coming up and taking over uh, as the military sidearm unless we see a big change in the thinking over there at the military as far as what they want in a sidearm. Um, another one that comes up a lot is going to be the uh, Smith & Wesson M&P. And I can say the exact same things about this as I did about the Glock. It's a great gun. It would work very well for them. But no manual safety and it's striker fired, not hammer fired. Um, and that's something that right now I just don't see happening. Um, the next one that I, I would love to see get thrown up as, as, as a military trial um, would be the Sig P227. I mean, you've got 45 caliber stopping power, you've got 14 rounds plus one in the chamber. You can get a tactical model that uh, gives you even more capacity than that. So you've got a good all-around gun. We know that the U.S. military in some uh, particular situations like to use the Sig anyway, along with you know, law enforcement and, and a lot of our own government agencies. It's a great gun. They've been using the P226 for a long time. Um, P227 just gives a little bit of a step up when it comes to stopping power and caliber. It would be a great gun. Uh, it would swap out very easily. It is hammer fired. You know, it's got a decocker safety on there, just like the Beretta. So it would be very easy for them to move from the Beretta to the SIG without too many problems. Um, but let's talk about the Beretta M9A3. Uh, what about that, just replacing the standard M9A1 or... Uh, what they've got in service right now. Um, that would also be another really good choice. I've seen the gun. It looks like they put a lot of work into making it an even better design than it already is. And, and don't get me wrong, the Beretta, the M9, is a fantastic gun. Uh, there's a lot of people who love these guns, myself included. Um, but ultimately, do I think that's the best choice to replace it? Just a newer generation? Not really, no. I mean, it's a great gun. But ultimately, if I were to pick one gun that could replace the M9 as the go-to sidearm for the U.S. military, at this point in time, I'd go with the FNX 45 Tactical. Um, it's a fantastic gun. Um, it's got everything they want and everything they need. You've got a lot of capacity. You've got great stopping power, hammer fired, decocker safety. Uh, it's a great manual of arms. It's polymer, so you got a little bit of a, a, you know, a rugged durability there, possibly over what they're running now. Um, all in all, it's just a fantastic gun, and it would, it would definitely be my first choice. And like I said, all these other guns, the Glock, the M&P, the SIG, they're all fantastic guns, and any one of them would be a great choice, and any one of them is just as good, and some even better than the Beretta. They're all good guns, but ultimately, if you come down to it, you want something that's going to give the military exactly what they want, plus stopping power, plus capacity, plus durability, the FNX 45 Tactical is probably the best thing they can go with.